In the modern space race, every launch is a high-stakes competition. While SpaceX has captured headlines with its Falcon rockets and Crew Dragon capsule, its competitor, Boeing, has struggled to get its own crew vehicle, Starliner, off the ground. What was once seen as a reliable alternative for NASA has instead become a case study in aerospace complications. Starliner's journey has been one of repeated delays and technical failures, raising critical questions about the future of commercial spaceflight and the partnership between NASA and its legacy contractors. Today, we'll uncover the reasons behind why is this happening, what's causing these persistent problems, and most importantly, if Boeing can ever gain back the trust of NASA and the public. Don't forget to subscribe for daily updates on the innovations shaping the future of spaceflight. Boeing's Starliner program isn't dealing with just one or two small issues that can be fixed and forgotten. It's been slowed down by a long chain of problems, each one adding new delays and making it harder to win back trust. The trouble is that these problems aren't all the same type. The issues range from software glitches to mechanical faults, and they've all stacked up over the years. They've been showing up at every stage of the program, from testing on the ground to actual flights in orbit. And because spaceflight leaves no room for even a small mistake, every one of these issues has had to be fully investigated and fixed before Starliner can move on. One of Starliner's earliest and most damaging problems happened during its first uncrewed test flight in December 2019. The spacecraft never made it to the International Space Station because its internal mission clock was set to the wrong time. This caused the spacecraft to fire its engines at the wrong moment, burning too much fuel and making docking impossible. NASA later revealed there was another serious software error waiting in the system, one that could have caused a collision between parts of the spacecraft during re-entry if engineers hadn't caught it just in time. The real concern here wasn't just that the mistakes happened but why they happened. Boeing's testing didn't simulate the mission from start to finish in one continuous, realistic run. Instead, it tested systems in smaller pieces, which meant certain timing and communication problems slipped through unnoticed. After the flight, NASA required Boeing to make dozens of changes to its testing process and fix weaknesses in how it builds and checks software. These fixes took years to complete and became one of the biggest reasons Starliner fell so far behind schedule. As Boeing worked through the software issues, another area of concern kept coming back. The parachute system. Parachutes are one of the most important safety features on a crew capsule because they're the last line of defense during re-entry. If they fail, there's no backup system that can take over. Starliner's parachutes have had several problems that made NASA cautious. In a pad abort test in 2019, one of the three parachutes didn't deploy. The cause turned out to be a pin that wasn't attached correctly, a small assembly mistake with huge consequences. Boeing explained it as human error, but for NASA, it was a sign that quality checks weren't catching critical mistakes before important tests. That incident was bad enough, but two years later, another parachute problem came up. During preparations for a later test flight, engineers found that some of the fabric parts called soft links, which connect the parachute lines to the capsule, were weaker than they should be. They didn't meet the safety margins needed for a crew mission, so Boeing had to redesign them and run new tests. All of that added more months to the schedule. With crew safety depending entirely on those parachutes working every time, NASA made it clear there could be no shortcuts. Just when the parachute issues were being addressed, a completely different problem stopped Starliner from even leaving the ground. In August 2021, during the final countdown for its second uncrewed test flight, engineers found that 13 valves in the spacecraft's propulsion system wouldn't open. These valves are used to control the flow of oxidizer, a chemical that makes the engines burn. And without them working, the spacecraft can't maneuver in orbit or perform an emergency escape during launch. The cause was corrosion. Moisture had gotten into the valves while the spacecraft was on the ground. And when it mixed with the oxidizer, it formed nitric acid that damaged the internal parts. The launch had to be called off, and the spacecraft was taken back to the factory for months of inspections and repairs. 
Boeing had to develop new inspection methods and consider design changes to prevent the same thing from happening again. The fact that environmental conditions on Earth could disable such a critical system raised serious concerns about how it might perform in space over longer periods. When Starliner finally did get off the ground in May 2022 for its second test flight, it reached the ISS, but not without fresh trouble. During the crucial burn to enter orbit, two of the spacecraft's maneuvering thrusters shut down earlier than planned. Backup thrusters kicked in to complete the maneuver, but the fact that this happened on a test flight was a warning sign. NASA later confirmed that the shutdowns were caused by a drop in chamber pressure inside the thrusters. While the mission was able to continue safely, thruster problems can be serious in situations where precise movement is needed, like docking with the ISS or avoiding space debris. In an emergency, losing thruster performance could make it harder to carry out quick maneuvers. NASA treated the incident as another reliability gap that had to be closed before any astronauts would be allowed on board. By the time 2023 arrived, Boeing was still trying to reach the point of flying astronauts. But just as preparations for the crewed flight test were moving forward, engineers discovered another safety problem. This time, it was in the spacecraft's wiring. The protective coating around many of the wires was found to be flammable in certain conditions. Inside a spacecraft where oxygen levels can be higher than on Earth, even a small spark could trigger a dangerous fire. Boeing had to add protective sleeves and reroute certain wiring bundles to reduce the risk. The work was slow and detailed because some wiring was in cramped areas surrounded by other sensitive hardware. Even though this issue didn't take as long to fix as earlier problems, it was still enough to delay the schedule again. Then came 2024, the year Boeing finally flew astronauts aboard Starliner for the first time. In June, Barry, Butch Wilmore, and Sunita Williams launched toward the ISS on what was supposed to be a short, week-long crew flight test. But the mission quickly became far more complicated. Shortly after reaching orbit, engineers detected multiple helium leaks in the propulsion system and saw unusual readings from some of the reaction control thrusters used for maneuvering in space. NASA and Boeing investigated the issues while the astronauts continued toward the station, and Starliner managed to dock successfully. However, the problems raised concerns about whether the capsule could safely bring the crew back to Earth. Originally, the plan was for Starliner to undock after just a few days and perform a crewed re-entry and landing. But with the thruster performance in question and helium leaks still present, NASA wasn't willing to take the risk. After weeks of analysis, the decision was made. Wilmore and Williams would remain on the ISS far longer than planned, and Starliner would return to Earth empty. In September 2024, the capsule made that solo trip home, landing successfully in the desert. Meanwhile, the astronauts stayed aboard the station for months, eventually returning in March 2025 aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon. What was meant to be Boeing's big success ended as a partial victory at best. The capsule proved it could reach orbit and dock, but also exposed critical weaknesses that still had to be fixed before any operational flights could happen. By early 2025, Boeing was preparing to fly Starliner again with a crew, hoping to finally complete a mission from launch to landing. But in the final weeks before the planned flight, engineers found fresh problems with the reaction control thrusters, some weren't firing consistently, and testing suggested the issue could be linked to how fuel and oxidizer flowed through the system under certain conditions. This discovery forced Boeing to halt launch preparations, inspect and test every thruster, and replace parts where needed. The delay meant NASA had to adjust its ISS crew schedule once again and lean on SPACEX to keep missions running. It was another reminder that even after more than a decade of development, Starliner still had to prove it could complete a crew mission from start to finish without major surprises. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.